I'm Manu Kakobian. Thank you for tuning in and thank you to our partners, personal injury attorney Nelson Gaborkin. Hi, everyone. We are joined by light heavyweight champion Dimitri Bivol, who's getting ready for the undisputed light heavyweight title fight against Artur Berbiev, October 12th in Saudi Arabia. This fight's going to be on ESPN+. Plus. Dimitri, this is the fight you've been wanting for the longest time. It's finally here after long negotiations, delays, postponements. You're finally here. How does it feel to have this moment? be within arm's reach now i feel amazing myself um i feel like just 10 days less than 10 days and i will have the most important fight in my life what makes arthur better be of so dangerous you you should see on his record this is uh, uh this is proof that he's uh, one of the dangerous opponent and his belts and uh, his skills. He's, uh, he's a really good fighter, not just a good puncher. He's a really smart fighter. How do you prepare for power? I just need to be myself. You cannot prepare to get punches, you know? You cannot. You just can prepare yourself to not get punched. And uh, uh, when when you are on your preparation, you are trying to imp improve your skills. What you have good inside of you, you should improve it. With all of the injuries that he's had, at the age of 39, do you think he's a damaged fighter? Uh, he's, he's a really dangerous fighter for everybody. In his age, he has uh, still good uh, conditioning. He has good power. He has good experience, uh, boxing IQ. And he has three belts. How has the preparation for Better B have been different than the biggest fight of your career to date against Canelo? How have you, how do you prepare for these big fights? Uh, uh, First of all, the location. Location was different. Second, uh, the most important on the preparation, it's uh, your sparring partners. They just different spar sparring partners. I have uh, different. And uh, and uh, every preparation is uh, like we could say that it's similar, but at the same time, it's different. Uh, why? Because uh, uh, it was two years ago when I was uh, preparing to Canela. Now I, my body is a little bit different. My coach can see it and he's giving me different sometimes exercises. Uh, sometimes he's creating something new uh, with exercises. I'm talking now about the physical conditioning coach. It's... Uh, a little bit different and at the same time, uh, similar uh, program. With um, you trained in India, where were you training for this camp? For this camp, I was in Kyrgyzstan three weeks in the mountains, and then uh, I was in Turkey uh, 45 days, and then two weeks before the fight, I came here to Riyadh. Mm -hmm. So we're very curious if when your hall of fame resume is assessed when you retire if you beat better bf will the better bf win be more important for you or the canelo win uh with the belts of course it's a better belief it means a lot for me for me canelo was uh, the step to have a huge fight in my career it was great opportunity to show the world there is uh, one boxer, his name Dmitry Bivol, and he's a good boxer. Uh, pay attention to him. Maybe we will give him a good chance to prove that he's good for, and we will give him some fight for, for belts. Both of them are important, but meaningful for my soul, of course, fight for all of the belts. And when you become 175 undisputed, if that happens, 
you know, you're going to have a, a lot of people wanting to fight you. Canelo, again, has teased that he wants to fight you again. Do you think the rematch would be worse for him this time around? I I just don't know. I, I don't think about Canelo because I have my fight about Canelo. We had the one and a half year waiting. Do he does he want to fight or he doesn't want to fight? It was only talks and nothing actions, nothing uh, negotiations at all. It's just a closed subject. I I'm busy now with the better be, and we will see after what will happen. You're also going to be busy with David Benavidez because he's going to be the mandatory challenger if if you win. Uh, is that a fight you're interested in or do you have other plans? Because I know Jay Apatea has also been on the table. I, for... To be honest, I don't have any plans on October 13, October 14. <laughs> I cannot say about uh, whom I'm going to fight next. I, I'm just focused on my next fight against better be maybe very quickly we could talk about the last performances what was your assessment of canelo's last fight against berlanga i didn't watch uh, full fight uh, to be honest i saw uh, i saw knockdown with the left hook it was a really good uh, knockdown his uh, it was his signature like to to make fint he wants to push on. He wants to get his body, but he did it hook. Uh, but I didn't watch the full fight because I don't need to watch um, any fights on my preparation. Right. And how about the one earlier in June when Benavidez made his light heavyweight debut against Gavazdik? It was a tough fight, but what was your assessment of Benavidez's last fight? Uh, to be honest, I didn't watch all of that fight. <laughs> I'm just last month. I'm just focused on uh, on better beef. Sorry, guys. I, of I course, saw, I saw of course a couple of clips, you know, on uh, Instagram. But I don't want to put all this information in my head because it could distract me from my from my own goal. Of course. What is your goal against better beef? Are you trying to knock out the knockout artist, or is this going to be high level boxing? Uh, at its finest. We will, we will see on the fight. <laughs> How I could tell you this. I'm I gonna I, I'm I will try to do all my best. If I try to find to finish fight, of course I will I will use this opportunity. But in my head I'm always think about how to how to win this fight, how to make everything perfect. I'm I'm not thinking about knockout to be honest.